I'm Victoria Aveyard, the author of The Red Queen, and here are some things you might not know about me. I know three national anthems, uh, the United States, Scotland, and Genovia. I'm five foot one, which means I spend a lot of parties as an armrest. And I went to some Lord of the Rings exhibition at a museum and it said I was between a tall hobbit and a short orc. The coolest thing I've probably done so far in my life is I got to go to the Desolation of Smog World premiere in Los Angeles. That was amazing because I'm a crazy Tolkien fan, but I also got to sit behind Benedict Cumberbatch and Luke Evans. So I got to spend the whole movie kind of like watching the screen and then realizing I was still sitting behind Benedict Cumberbatch and trying to watch the movie and trying not to look at him. That was my died and gone to heaven moment and this is a ghost. <laughs> I won most likely to rule the world in high school, and I decided I'll take that as a compliment. So when I'm a dictator, that'll be really fun to look back on. I broke both my arms at the same time when I was 10 years old. I was accidentally stealing Pokemon cards. I did not know that I was stealing them. I thought they were free for me to take, and I was wrong. I got caught, and when I tried to scooter away from the shame, I flipped over my handlebars and I broke both my arms. As part of my writing, I will talk out scenes to myself. I'll say dialogue out loud in the shower when I'm working out, just in my room or even in my house around other people. But the weirdest thing I do is I will type and look away from my screen and I'll just be like this, totally dead faced. And roommates have told me I look kind of possessed, so that's fun. I got the news that I had sold Red Queen to HarperCollins. I got the call from my agent while I was still behind the wheel and I told her like, this is exactly where I am on the road. If you hear a bang, I have crashed. Please call the police. But I got home safely. No one was home and I kind of had to sit there in my silence and wait for my parents to get home because I was living with my parents. And when I did, they didn't believe me and then they finally believed me and we cracked a bottle of champagne.